Hey boys, I'm gonna run to Lowe's real quick. I am going to run up to the rec center. Remember, no answering the phone, no opening the door, okay? As parents, we're always telling our kids what to do, but... How do you know if children are listening? We decided to test it out. How nervous are you? Very. <laughs> a little bit. I really don't know what they're gonna do. I'm a little nervous because we've gone through this scenario like several times. With parent volunteers watching and their kids left alone, we sent a fake delivery driver followed by a kid to three houses to see if the parents rule about not answering the door sank in or not. I don't think they're gonna answer. I, no, I hope. Not quite sure. How many times do you think they've heard in their lives, don't answer the door for anyone? Or... Oh, probably, I would say probably at least 50 times. Do they kind of go to the window to look to see who they, it is? They or... do. They, they'll go to the window and look. He's twirling He's twirling, yeah. yeah. He's making that look interesting, but they're still not answering, so that's Xbox. good. There goes the front. Hey, buddy, is your parents home? I got a package. <sighs> they're home? OK, all right, do you mind signing on this for me? At least he brought Carter, the dog. <laughs> Oh, there, there's my, there he is. There's someone at our door, but now he's gone. Oh, wait, they might be calling. Hi. Hi, so is there this guy at our front door and I'm not going by the front door at all? Your mom has told you at least a hundred times, don't answer the door for anyone. What resonated about that? Was it the repetition or did they walk you through like what could happen if you answer? Or? Yeah, basically. If you like just tell them that they can like come in, and we don't know who it is, they can maybe do something bad. Okay, here comes our kid. I'm hoping that they're not gonna answer the door for the kid. Did you think about answering the door? No. You didn't at all? No. Why not? Well, because you never know if something bad's gonna happen. We have neighborhood kids that will come over. I mean, this is prime time. To me home? Darn it. Is Timmy home? Oh, sorry, wrong house. I'm disappointed, but it is a huge teaching moment. Child psychologists say whether or not a child listens is based on numerous factors, like the development of the child, the relationship with the caretaker, but also... Would you say kind of both times, it's almost an emotion that takes over? Yeah. Science can work against you. Judgment, you know, thinking about cause and effect and how these all interplay. Children, specifically in adolescence, cannot play this out because of the prefrontal cortex is not developed yet. So they're making decisions based on emotions. They're not making decisions based on facts. And they all agree repeating blanket statements don't work as well as an explanation. You have about three seconds before you sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. And not even one if it's a rerun. Go through the different scenarios that can happen. We really have to work through the problem solving for the child. I think if they gave you a real life scenario, it would seem more realistic to my brain and it'll make me remember that. You think you'd ever do it again? No. Will Uick. Not when my parents aren't home, no. Three news.